Morgan is phasing out the Aero 8. But before it does, the British manufacturer will build eight final examples of the ultimate version to date. The Aero 8 was first introduced back in 2001, emerging as the first completely new Morgan design since the 1960s. It ended production in 2010, only to be revived again in 2015. The new Aero GT, revealed here for the first time, is looking to give the nameplate a spark and usher it into the history books for good. The send-off Aero GT is based on an aluminium architecture, in stark contrast to Morgan's traditional wood frames, overlaid with hand-beaten metal aluminium body panels. For the GT, the bodywork has been modified for increased downforce, with additions including louvered front fenders and a rear diffuser, all derived from the GT3 racing version that Morgan debuted in 2009. Power comes courtesy of BMW's N62V8, rated at the same 367 horsepower as the Aero 8s, sending the GT to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds before topping out at 170 miles per hour, 274 kilometers per hour. Along with the plus 850th anniversary edition, also revealed today at the Geneva Motor Show, the Aero GT will be the last Morgan to use the naturally aspirated engine. The Aero 8 has been a stalwart of Morgan production for almost 20 years, it offers an exceptional driving experience and unrivaled looks, further enhanced in Aero GT guys, said managing director Steve Morris. Every Morgan is built to an exacting specification and is bespoke to each customer. Their personality is displayed in every detail. Owners invest a great deal of emotion in choosing and tailoring their own perfect specification. This investment is rewarded at the first drive of their unique and exhilarating vehicle. The Aero GT is the ultimate ensemble of this formula. All eight examples to be built were already sold before Morgan revealed the Aero GT to the public, priced from £120,000, or about $166 at current exchange rates, before taxes. Each will be individually designed in consultation with Morgan's chief designer John Wells, and built by the Special Projects Division over the course of 8-10 weeks.